Still though, the variety of carnivores had to your world is something everyone can love. And what do we have over here? You, the Ceratosaurus. Your ass, I know, along with a few of these other ones, is definitely a Jurassic Park dinosaur. I know because I just played Operation Genesis the other day, and I raised a few of these, so I'm pretty certain God, I love them. They have special noises and everything. Ooh, that's disgusting. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot here checking out one of the most awesome mods that's ever been created that isn't exactly new, but in fact, it's so old, I think it's largely forgotten. But it comes, this is like a total conversion that, that brings about like 20 new dinosaurs. You guys might remember me covering it like a year ago or something like that. But anyways, now there's this other version of the mod. Basically, the mod developer has lost all the files or most of the key files for the main, for the total conversion. So it can't be updated or anything with any of the new ARC updates, which is heartbreaking. But he has the CNC mod which does have a lot of the new dinosaurs he created along with other awesome stuff in it. So I'm going to be showing you guys all that stuff today because the CNC mod and everything is still being updated and that's all awesome. Like some of this awesome stuff like this freaking net gun I'm holding right now in front of me. Look how cool this thing is. It doesn't actually like have the full animation of bagging them into a into a net unfortunately because Ark just doesn't have those capabilities. See it, it just needs this net ammo and a net gun right here. Fire at its small creatures. And ba-boom, they just stay locked up in the net. It just kind of wraps around them like this, but it's still pretty damn cool to just be able to net gun creatures. How net guns have not always been a thing in Ark is completely beyond me. <laughs> Look how convenient that is, and it's completely realistic too. Like, we would be able to lock their cage things, at least wrap them up in nets. Holy hell, Ark is so blindingly white right now. It's like giving me a migraine. All right, so here's some of the creatures you guys might remember from last time, like the Alpha Bull Trike. Which wasn't that crazy at the time. This, I mean, which was pretty crazy at the time. is not very crazy now. I remember the Tupuera. Tup Tupuera, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm all over the place with a lot of names. I just don't like to admit it. It was first in this mod for months before Ark brought it in. It was, at the time, it was crazy. I should be showing it off right now, but it's no longer new to us. So we have these guys right here. These Mackies. Mackies? Mac Macaws? I'm trying to figure out a short nickname for them. Which are essentially just shortened sabers. They're like smaller sabers, obviously. You can see they have a face. They're just retextured. But they still look freaking perfect, if you ask me. This one's like supposed to be... I guess every creature in this mod is retextured art creatures for the most part. But they're all based, because I remember when I first covered them a long time ago. Not that I can just trust the new updates. The new creatures out of here are the same thing. They're just all creatures that at one point or another existed. And we're all just closely related to other art creatures. So here we have this one, and then an alpha over here, which is just crazy as hell. The alpha you can ride, the little one you could not, but the little one's mostly used for, like, ambushing other players and whatnot, because they're small and extremely agile. Where are you going, bitch? Oh my god, see, it's the only downside with nets is they're delayed. And they don't work on larger creatures, unfortunately. That part sucks marbles, but I mean, to be able to just actually, just, they, they are stuck on him. Actually, no, they completely stuck him, that's why he's not running anywhere. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, Alpha Bull Shrike, let's just get these. Get away from my campsite, you turds. Dude, the Alpha Bull Shrike's awesome. Obviously, today we've had many alphas, many crazy beasts. I think this mod came out around the same time Genesis did, like uh, Anunnaki Genesis, to put it in perspective. But some of these dinosaurs I'm gonna show you are brand spanking new. So these guys, this is my favorite part of it. This was the first mod that implemented anything even remotely Jurassic Park Raptor-ish. You see, it even had blue streaks down the side. It was a beautiful thing. You obviously know what that's going for right there. And if you don't, shame on you. Over here, this guy, uh, Chimera, the Chimera. Okay, thank you. It's a shortened name now. Just another um, relative, I believe, of some sort of Brachiosaurus, Bronto-type, Puerto family. You know what I mean? Just the, the long necks for the most part. The coolest thing about this mod was that it tweaked, I, I said it already, but it tweaked existing ARC dinosaurs to make them look like existing ones, because so many of them are so close and perfect to so many others. Look at the Alberto over here. The Alberto, you see, the Alberto is just about freaking perfect, but it just runs kind of silly. I love this guy, though. It's, it's, it's super freaking cool just to have different kinds of carnivores and everything. All in your world says, well, he obviously needs a saddle, that's the thing, but it's just his walking that's a little off. He moonwalks a little bit. He's got a horrifying roar though, that's beautiful. I don't know what that is. That looks like he's preparing to do something and then he just ends up with a serious ass jiggle. Look at those thigh muscles moving though. That's like a hell of an animation right there. Look at those thighs, as he moves, they, that's, that's actually crazy. To see muscles moving as dinosaurs move on creatures. Where's that been my whole life? Obviously this guy's, yes, they're all about, they're all about around vanilla stats too. It's perfect. I love this dude so much. Even if he is kind of goofy, he just looks battle damaged. Extremely battle damaged. 
Now, if I remember both of these, the Alpha and the regular one, no, you can't be rid of Nova Raptor. It's got to be the Alpha Nova Raptor. It doesn't say Alpha, but it is an Alpha. Does not require saddles. Basically, it's just essentially a Raptor. Oh, it's the noises. Those Jurassic Park noises, dude. Come on, do it again, buddy. That is so freaking beautiful. Come on, man. Yeah, I just gotta do that freaking ever. You know what's even more special is I happen to know somebody's working on a Jurassic Park Dinos mod, and it's just gonna be perfect in every way, shape, and form. But until then, let's mess around with these guys. Actually, even once that day comes, let's mess around with all of them. This one, the Gastonia, this one's obviously a relative of the Yankee. I don't think he added more spikes. I think it's just bigger. Same with this thing, the Alpha Dilo right here, Dilo, Dilo, Dilophosaurus, however you like to pronounce it. This guy, this this is the time, to you guys, it may just look like a giant dialer, but I remember this at the time. It was just some straight-up glorious mind-melting shizzle. Because there was no alphas at the time or anything like that, and it kind of looked like, I don't know, just a much more Jurassic Park-ish dialer, which a lot of people might not agree with, because it doesn't look exactly like the creature was supposed to. But were the creatures were supposed to look? See, everything has perfect vanilla stats. I don't think the creatures were supposed to look exactly like they did in real life, though, because they weren't the exact creatures. They filled in missing slots in the DNA with other animals. Whoa, he's just got a stampede button. If you right-click, he just stampedes forward. That's so cool. That is beautiful. You can just stampede on your own. Wow, talk about mass traveling right there. It's so freaking loud. Man. So right-click will just... Hey, what, do I have to charge it or something? Was that... See, look at that. That's so freaking cool. It's able to walk on its own. That's beautiful for long journeys right there. Until it gets stuck on a little rock or something. Those noises are so cool. I don't think those were here last time at all. Oh my god. It sounds like such a powerful beast. I love it so much. I love this net gun a lot too. This net gun is beautiful. So make sure, obviously, yeah, if you guys are just curious about what to download and what to do, they're both the total, the, the total expansion, or total conversion, whatever the hell it's called, conversion, is the top one, it'll just say conversion, the other one will say mod, you should be able to figure it out. But, let's see here, which ones are only for the conversion? Oh yeah, of course, I can't forget the acro, this game has, this mod is such a perfect acro, it's not even funny. Except for small details like him not making any footsteps when he runs. What's going on there, Sneaky? Right, he still can move. Wow, even that running animation is so much better than I remember it. And he doesn't even have 2,000 health, but he's only level 17. Look at that, though. Okay, there's just very hunched over creature. There we have walking, you know, patrolling, stalking for chicks. Does... Sweet Jesus, that was horrific right there. Then we have the run where he opens his mouth a little bit. Oh, Jesus. He gets excited. He gets excited about moving in on his prey. I love this. I forgot. At least it wasn't a screech yet. Oh my god. When he loses in footstep sounds, he more than gains in ex extremely tremendous roars. Holy shit. It was crazy. Here, buddy. If I can net you in the sky, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think you should be able to. This would be what you'd want to net for the most part. You know, flyers or just anything. Net. I guess, no, people. People's what you'd want to be able to net. And then you'd want to be able to drag them by the nets. I could... Damn, that thing breaks easy as all hell. Just cutting out my fun super quick, aren't you? All right, what do we have over here? Oh, this thing, the Anthrocosaurus? What? The Anthrocosaurus, I guess. It's it's obviously a remodeled, that one creature. Yeah, that, that little bugger right there who I can never remember the name of because it looks just like a newt I had when I was a child. And I can only think of the new when I look at it. See, this guy, this, the, this, okay, this mod dev, I just remembered, has a total conversion. If I find it, I'll put in the, or not a map, a map, not a total conversion. If I find it, I'll put it in the description below, but it's entire underground worlds. It's an entire, I'm skipping words, underground world with just, like, orcs, monkey tribes, new creatures, crazy stuff. And there may not be a lot of resources, there's no sky, it's literally all one underground, it's like ant colony survival. But the whole point of it isn't like necessarily a PvE, it's supposed to be strict PvP, if anything like a, an elimination map. Cause you, you little shit, you do like poison damage and stuff, don't you? I think it does, severely. I mean, it just looks like a giant ass newt lizard, you know what I'm saying? I think it does. Hang on, can I ride you in the water? Are you a thing? I need to see if this is a thing, if he's like his brother. Cause if so, this would actually be a very cool creature to have. Those jellyfish are way too... Way too close to the shore. That's exactly how people get stung by jellyfish right there. Damn it, we can't. Oh, we can. Look at this long ass sausage. Damn. I, I never thought I'd be riding sausage in my life. Got any other moves, buddy? 
What's this one? Descend? Ooh, he can descend. Freaky guy. Basically just a giant ass sea lizard to have in your world. The thing about this guy though is I've seen him. I've been on that map. I've played that underground map. I, I recorded a video for it, but he got screwed up so I didn't post it. But these guys, the way they hide is very freaky. They tend to just dwell slightly because they're they're like their other arc counterpart, the creature that actually was remodeled to become this, but these ones are much more hostile and much more scary. They're not really skittish at all, and that makes it freaking terrifying. Now, this handsome devil right here, look at this guy, level 8, doesn't even have 500 health, or doesn't even have 600 health. He's a retextured Carno, a Rugops, right? Correct? I just saw it five seconds ago, I better not forget it. Obviously very distinct to the Carno, except for that beautiful, colorful bits on top of his forehead. Obviously some sort of armored shell as his entire, just like he's got a little snout on top too, it's beautiful. What the shit is touching me? Honestly, that almost gave me a heart attack. That is like the last thing you was thinking of behind you. So what's going on, Rugops? Rugops, yeah, he's just generally a lighter, a lighter Carno. Hey, I'll get the Carno next to him. Oh yeah, this, this is like a polite little cousin to the Carno right here. Which actually made it really cool, it made it really exciting. Like, this, this is why this mod's so sweet, now that I think about it. And I've probably already said it about twice this video. It's getting late, I'm getting just gibberishy. But it adds such a different wide range of carnivores to your world that actually aren't that not as beautiful. We're just gonna act like that was perfect English and nobody make fun of me. Actually, there's, in a little bit of ways, you're, you're kind of more pretty than this carno. You're all dry and scaly. And your, your fingers look like someone tried to cut them off and someone saved you halfway through. You're no better. What am I talking about? You got little Rick and Morty fingers. Still though, the variety of carnivores add to your world is something everyone can love. And what do we have over here? You, the Ceratosaurus. Your ass, I know, along with a few of these other ones, is definitely a Jurassic Park dinosaur. I know because I just played Operation Genesis the other day, and I raised a few of these, so I'm pretty certain. God, I love the special noises and everything. Ooh, that's disgusting. Spitting all over the place. You should be so proud of yourself. So cool having all these Jurassic Park dinos in here. Oh, you aren't very fast at all, are you, buddy? Well, in my theme park, I was just having them eat goats. I feel like goats aren't that hard to kick. It's not, it's not that hard to kick a goat's ass, I feel like. Essentially. This mod also has a few things I won't put you guys through because we already all have other fun Dodorexes and everything, I'm sure. But it has like cave Dodorexes, which are much smaller and dwell in caves, so it's, it's which makes the most sense. That's where I'd imagine Dodorexes would be. They'd be like cave dwelling bird beasts. Dude, you are just you are just awesome, aren't you? This one's definitely in CNC, the CNC satellite mod, I think, the one that isn't the total conversion. Because I did try and add all of this to my uh, Jurassic World mod, or my Jurassic World survival series, which is coming right back, by the way. It's going to be here very shortly with some other Jurassic Park-like mods, as well as this one, though. Oh! I'm getting one of these guys in my base. I would love to have this guy in my world, but he just lost the files for the dinosaurs, and they can't be updated. It's so sad. Last but not least, we have the Bomberants. Look at this crazy bastard. This guy, don't be fooled by them being tamed. They are not peaceful. They are the size of a human. Jesus Christ. I think even with them tamed, they still might be an issue. I wonder if I can control them, actually. I just realized that Carno might be a problem. Well, the answer on it now. Well, if they explode, we're all screwed. I guess I could just stand slightly back and everything would be fine. Really, did the ants not explode when I have them forced tamed? That's heartbreaking. I was hoping they'd be special about it. If they would just be causing special amounts of destruction, might have to get some wild ones in here to show off their capabilities. They are cool though, you gotta admit, and they attack in packs, and it's just horrible. They look beautiful for giant ants, like so well detailed and everything. Look at that little mouth. That's actually gorgeous. I mean, not in like an actually gorgeous kind of way. It's, it's well detailed. I really do love how he loads the net gun. The whole gun is just so pristine. Makes me think there's a perfect little net gun in the dev kit that I've never used. Or Ark's just had a net gun for a long time that I've never used. I thought we all agreed to still use bolas. I don't know. Now, if you guys stand back. Does this work on friendlies? Because this would be like the ultimate way to troll your teammates right here. And now they're stuck. They can't even come to me. That's why there's no net guns in this game. Because everyone will just be constantly netting each other up. Unless there is. And then I apologize. <laughs> Shizen! Oh my god. There they are back there. Look how much they glow when they're going to explode. They glow so much more than ours back there. Ours aren't even glowing. Once they're armed and hostile, they're beautiful. Look how Pomerant back there killed an Oviraptor. That's what happens when you mess with an ant that explodes. All right, buddy, let's see what you do. Let's see your magic. Come on. Don't make me shoot you. 
I'm gonna have to punch in the face, I suppose. Oh, oh shit. Is he gonna do its thing? Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. No, that wasn't even me. There's Bomberans killing Bomberans, but he killed my friendlies. Why aren't you exploding, little guy? What's stopping you from fulfilling your destiny? <laughs> oh my god! That was insane! <laughs> Dude, my Rugops is killing Bomberans. I don't know why those things aren't exploding. They're supposed to. But hearing that freaking Jurassic Park Raptor hop over my head, I mean, hearing it and then seeing it hop over my head was something I never want to experience in my life. Come on, Pomerant, you can do it! I guess he's not exploding, exploding right now, it's just something in the air. Something's going on here, he's out of here. Can this thing shoot underwater? Because that would be so amazing for so many reasons. Damn it! I guess I should have checked it out before I got excited. Dude, there are Jurassic Park Raptors flooding this island, and I think it's awesome. Oh my god, the way they jump over your head when they attack is terrifying. Bring it, you bastard. Come on, net gun. Yes, net gun works on Raptors. Oh my god, it's calling for help. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I love Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Make sure to leave a like if you guys want to continue this stuff. It's gonna happen, actually. Never mind. Keep your like. It's gonna. We'll leave a like if you want to, but I mean, I'm gonna do Jurassic Park stuff forever regardless. That's just what this channel's about for the most part. So yes, if you want to mess around with this stuff too, the mods are in the description below if you had a good time watching. Oh my god, it's calling for help. It's the exact noise as the Jurassic Park when they call for help. Yeah, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Yeah.